Weeks after protests calling for racial justice, state senators debate sweeping legislative changes they say would fight racism and increase police accountability. We know it's a significant uh, set of changes for policing, uh, but we, we think it's worth it. The Senate police reform bill bans chokeholds, bans deadly uses of force, except in cases of imminent harm, creates a duty to intervene for any officer who sees another using excessive force, and allows officers to be held civilly liable for excessive force in certain cases. I urge my colleagues to all make this a unanimous bill. The bill also creates an independent committee for police certification, training, and decertification, and it allows the governor to appoint the state police colonel from outside the force. Senators say nothing they can pass can end racism, but they can make changes. This is a first step down a very, very long road. Lawmakers are facing a time crunch to get this to the governor's desk with formal sessions ending in just weeks. The House also working on a reform bill, though details have not yet been released. Senators say they don't believe they're trying to do too much in one bill. It's not enough to tweet hashtag Black Lives Matter, right, that people want to see action. And this bill is a first step in by showing through action that the legislature hears those cries for redress and that we are showing we care. The Massachusetts Law Enforcement Policy Group called this bill a missed opportunity. It says the Senate is more focused on making a political statement than actual sound policy. Now, this debate is expected to go well into the evening, and senators are expected to pass this bill. We are live here inside the State House. Charmin Sacchetti, WCVB News Center.